Hi guys, welcome to a very brief episode of Practical Robotics in C++. In this episode, I just wanted to talk briefly about potentiometers and how to use them as voltage dividers. This was kind of an accidental episode, it's just that I thought it would be useful as I was editing the Hoverboard Tutorial 3B, How to Control Hoverboard Motors with a Joystick. That tutorial makes use of an analog to digital converter on the original Hoverboard control board, and I thought it might be useful for you to understand how and why we're using potentiometers that could look like this or might come installed as part of a joystick like this to control our hoverboard speed and steering. So this is going to be a quick video. Um, let's get right to it. A voltage divider is just using a couple of resistances in series and taking a measurement from the middle. You might have two 1000 ohm resistors in series like you see here for a total of 2000 ohms. Now if you were to apply 10 volts to the outside leads, you would of course measure 10 volts. If you were to move one of the leads so both leads were at the same point, you would of course read zero volts. But if you were to leave the black lead over on zero volts, also known as the ground, and move the red lead to the connection between the two resistors, you would read five volts. You get the number five volts because whatever voltage you're going to read is going to depend on the ratio between the two resistances. So if you were to change the resistor on the right to 2000 ohms, or at another 1000 ohm resistor in series, what you would end up with is one third of the voltage, or 3.3 volts. What a potentiometer does is gives us the ability to measure at any point along the resistance instead of just having to pick taps in between resistors in series. We do that by moving a wiper along the resistance. The standard potentiometer has three leads. Two leads are connected across the constant resistance, that is whatever the potentiometer is rated for, and a third lead is connected to the center tap, or wiper. So let's say we have a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer, and we're still applying 10 volts across the constant 10 kilo ohms. So we connect our meter from zero volts to the wiper, and the wiper is positioned right in the middle, so we have five kilo ohms of resistance. We're still gonna read five volts. That's because we have five kilo ohms of resistance on both sides of the wiper. Instead of having to move our leads from one tap to another, we can just move the wiper over a little bit. And here we can have four kilo ohms on the left and six kilo ohms on the right, and our voltage is going to be four volts. So that's one thing to notice, is that the resistance between the left outside lead and the wiper, plus the wiper to the right outside lead, are always going to add up to the total resistance of the potentiometer in this case 10 kilo ohms. We can move the wiper a bit to the right and get eight kilo ohms on the left and two kilo ohms on the right to get eight volts. Now, thanks to Ohm's law, resistance isn't the only thing I can change. In the case of the analog to digital converter on the hoverboard, that requires a 3.3 volt reference for the analog to digital converter. So let's put our wiper back in the middle of a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer and put 3.3 volts on, on the outside of the potentiometer. If we use that red lead and send that to the analog to digital converter, take a moment and try to figure out what voltage right now it would be going to the analog to digital converter. If you figured 1.65 volts, you are absolutely right, because that is one half of the voltage, and at five kilo ohms on both sides of the wiper, from zero to the wiper is going to be one half of 3.3 volts. If we move the wiper so we have 1 kilo ohm on the left and 9 kilo ohms on the right, we're going to have only 0.3 volts going to the analog to digital converter. Now another thing I just want to mention is that you can use both sides of the wiper. They're both perfectly valid resistances. And much like our total resistance between the left and the right are always going to equal the total resistance across the potentiometer, thanks to Kirchhoff's second law, we know that the voltages on both sides of the wiper have to add up to equal the total voltage going across the potentiometer. Potentiometers come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. This is a pretty normal sized one, but I think the ones like in this picture here are ones you'll find a little more commonly in a, a hobby store or whatever. I don't remember where I got these. These are what I have, so I'm going to demonstrate the voltage divider with one of these. These happen to be 20 kilo ohm resistors. These two pins here are a constant 20 ohms. And this pin here, as we turn the knob, will vary between 0 and 20 ohms between this pin and this pin, and also between this pin and this pin. This pin is always in the middle. Let me show you quickly how we might wire it up. This is my handy 
power supply I built, I think, when I was in high school. And I have it set to, it's not very precise, about 3.3 volts. Hopefully you can see this meter here. And I've set 3.3 volts going across the constant part of the resistor. So now, let me see if I can just get these meter leads on here. One right there. Set the voltage, and I'll put my red meter lead. I didn't have a red jumper right here. Okay, so now we have basically full voltage. Um, the dial is turned all the way this way, but as I move the wiper, you can watch the voltage dropping as the resistance changes. And this is a multi turn potentiometer, so I can't easily show you exactly the center. Well, I can find it um, because when this reads 1.15 volts then I'll know I'm at the center but of course I can keep turning all the way to the other extreme and I should have close to zero volts and there you go I have zero volts I think that about does it for how to use a potentiometer as a voltage divider and I hope it helps you to be able to use any potentiometer you have, your hoverboard joystick control project. Uh, so if you have a different potentiometer than I did uh, in the tutorial, which I will link to here somewhere, um, that you'll be able to use your potentiometers for, for whatever purpose you need to, or if you need a voltage divider for another reason. I did this a little bit hastily, so if there's anything I left unclear, I apologize. Please leave uh, questions, or if you have something to fill in, uh, that I left out, please go ahead and leave that in the comments below and give us a thumbs up. And I hope you're enjoying the book, Practical Robotics in C++. Currently running in the top five bestsellers for robotics engineering books on Amazon. Teaches you all about robotics, including electronics, programming, robot operating system, and all sorts of stuff. And we're just going to keep building on what's in the book as I have time. I want to keep building on that knowledge here so you can enhance your creations. So don't forget to subscribe, stick around, and we'll see you and your robot projects a little later.